We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings host Green Bay Preble. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. We got the band right behind us, so if uh, it starts to get a little noisy, it's them. They're doing an excellent job. Hey Chris, real top heavy in the conference right now. We got uh, De Pure and Ashwaubenon on at 4-0, and and then three schools, two of them here tonight, at 3-1 and along with Pulaski. Yeah, De Pere and Ashwaubenon seem to be the the better teams right now. DePierre played probably a couple weeks ago and two teams are undefeated and they beat them by about 18 points. I know Ashwaubenon and I was and DePierre both were playing down in Milwaukee and beat some pretty good teams so those teams are doing well again. As is Pulaski who lost a whole bunch of teams. So who does that leave? Preble and South one game behind. Both teams obviously want to stay towards the top and you know for Sheboygan South probably they'll surprise and be up there but for basically what you're doing here is playing for third place tonight. Now, one of the things that I'm sure uh, surprises both of us, when we look through the scoring, we see the two Connors, Kraft and Lemmings, you know, averaging 18 and 14 a game. South High scores only averaging 11, and it drops way down after that. What do you make of that uh, scoring differential? Well, I think one of the things that we talked about before, Marty, we talked about the times we've seen South, is they play a whole bunch of guys, so they get a balanced scoring. You know, you never know. It's almost like the Badgers. You know, you never know who's going to lead them in scoring tonight, and that's basically been the case for Sheboygan South this year. They kind of rely on a whole team thing, real deep, where, like you said, Green Bay Preble's a little, their upper two guys are a little better. Connor Kraft, as a matter of fact, he's 97th in the state in scoring. So he's basically their go-to guy. South spreads it out. Now this Lemmings guy, Connor Lemmings, only a sophomore. He's quite a player, and we, we had a chance to see him playing, but we were both impressed with him. Yeah, it's not just his offense, but he's kind of like an overall player, too. He's a very good athlete and things like that. And I think one of the things that South's going to have a little bit of trouble with is kind of maybe the size of Preble. They're not real tall, per se, but they seem to have a good size, and they really rebound very well. So I'm interested to see how Coach Rank attacks that group. Hey, the guy that surprised us at North was that big Perez kid who came in, had a real nice game and uh, spelled the, the, the starting big guy, but he did a heck of a job. He didn't look like a basketball player, though. No, he doesn't, and he does take up a lot of space in the paints as well, and he does have a nice little soft jump shot, and, you know, he was one of those guys we didn't expect. We expected more from Lemons and the Kraft guys and things, and here he came out to do that. Now, you know, I think South just keep playing their good defense. I, I think that'll kind of take care of Perez a little bit. Now let's talk a little bit about South. You, you started it here, but let's talk a little bit about South. What do they need to do to win tonight? Well, I think they got to get over the hump, Marty. They played three really bad teams in the league so far, not at the top of the thing. Then they played some non-conference teams that weren't very good. But then the other night, they had an 11-point lead against a very good Kimberly team and gave up the lead and then lost in overtime. They just need to get over that hump now. You know, it's getting to January. We're ready to get our feet wet. We kind of make it hay a little bit. I think this is kind of a statement win. Can you beat a Green Bay Preble? That's what I think has been playing very, very well. You got him at home tonight. Uh, you got something to prove. Jared Reclitis has uh, come on uh, since we saw him. Now, we were a little critical. He ended that game we did with a double-double, but he missed a lot of shots. But I think he's coming on as the season has wore along. Yeah, and the whole group is coming along. You know, Jared's like many of the kids are just juniors this year and he's averaging over six rebounds a game and you know he does make a presence known he doesn't take a lot of shots but his shots are very effective and they're all in the paint and he's going to have to create some things and try to get some buddies for Sheboygan South. All right with that we're going to step out and when we come back we'll have the tip off for tonight's basketball game. Beauty. I believe in my mom. Strawberry ice cream. Fortune cookies. Chocolate. I believe in the tooth fairy. Being honest with yourself. I believe in Santa Claus. Aliens, of course. I believe what I want to believe. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in peace. Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Okay, 
Josh, do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't do the only guys. Pass it on. A little help from up above. To me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than 2 million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families. And there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. Reamer, Connor Lemons, we mentioned him. He's only a sophomore. Parker Kraft. Connor Kraft is the other big scorer for Preble. And number 41, Joel Delwich, now for your uh, Red Wings. TJ Pitch, number three. Number 10, Tyler Zietz. Tyler Zietz making a start number tonight. Number four, Connor Harrison. Connor Harrison. Number 32, Carter Amundsen. Amundsen, a senior. And number 34, Jared Rakalitis. The Red Wings are coached Lattis by Mike uh, Rank. Junior Assisting coach rounds out the starting Peter lineup. Kautzer, South Jake is coached Schwarz. by uh, Mike Rank, assisted by Peter Kautzer and Jeff Bristol. Preble is coached by uh, Jim Wall, assisted by uh, Mark Schrader and Andy Hoffmeister. Preble comes in six and three. South is five and four. They're both three and one in conference. Starting four baseball players tonight, Marty. Yeah, All you'd except know that, the pitch. that's for sure. Now, if I remember correctly, uh, Preble very patient on offense, Chris. They don't uh, generally push the ball up the floor too much. No, nope. averaging 60 points a game. Preble controls the tip. South in a man-to-man -man defense. A lot of back and forth. Delwich looking, but uh, Rec Light is stopping him on the inside. Good defense. Well, that's been South's main focus. November, December is defense. Trying to turn that into victories here in January. They're five up and four down. Wide open outside shot by Reamer is good from three point land. Wow, he comes in just averaging four points a game and he gets the first three. Pass wow. is tipped and stolen away by Preble. Another kick out of travel not called. Driving shot to the lane. The basket's good, but Connor Lemons gets called for the offensive foul. That'll be his first. Nope. They're not giving him the basket, Marty. Nope, I knew that. I knew that right away. Three to nothing. Preble on top. We just got started. Preble in a uh, half-court trapping zone. Pitch from outside. Couldn't get it. Zietz with the rebound lays it up and in. That's why you never stand around. There was the opposite side of the floor waiting for the rebound and uh, basket for Zietz. On the wing looking to drive, but uh, Amundsen playing the tough defense was uh, Connor Kraft. Drive to the hoop by Harrison and it's good. 
Four to three, South on top. Outside three-point attempt is halfway down and pops back out. Reamer on the miss. Harrison had 10 rebounds in that north-south game. Got his first one right there. Preble six and three. Played some pretty good ball clubs. We'll talk about that as we go along. Looks like they're in a 1-3-1 one, one defense, Chris. Harrison from outside the line is no good. Connor Kraft trying to take it to the basket, but uh, pretty good defense played by uh, Amundsen, preventing him from even getting the shot off. And that's Carter's forte, his defense and rebounding. He's not going to score a lot. Delwich inside with some nice moves, got the shot up, but couldn't get it in. And then De Zietz steals the out pass. And South has it back, and they've got the lead. Three turnovers on Preble in the first two minutes and 10 seconds. That's unusual. They're pretty good at handling the ball. Imagine that, Amundsen passing up a shot. Sometimes, Chris, I think like Carter is standing pretty far out the line. He takes one step in and he gets that reverse pass. He should attempt that three-pointer just to force the defense to uh, respect him. Good swing of the ball. Pitch open for a second. Couldn't get the uh, shot to go and getting the rebound was uh, Connor Lemons. Outside shot by Connor Kraft is no good. Rec Lightis with the rebound. Under four minutes in the first quarter, it's only four to three. I'll say this much, Chris, my pencil is still sharp. <laughs> well, South averaging only 53 points a game, and as I said, Preble's 60. Reclitis lost it on the inside. Amundsen's going to get called for the foul on the reach. For Carter, that's his first foul and the first on South. Got him before the shot, though. That was good. Connor Kraft open for just a second but couldn't get it in. And uh, Rec Lightis with great block out. And then going over the back to commit the foul was uh, Joel Delwich. Entering the game now, number 55. He'll fill up your screen, <laughs> Marcos Perez. Yeah, Marcos had a nice game over at North a few weeks ago. Parker Slimmer and Sam Selk in the ball game, along with, uh, well, Connor Harrison is number four tonight, so I'm not sure who number 21 is. I think that's Cody McLaughlin. No, that's not. No? That's not Cody. Cody's Where's, bigger than that. Yep, you're right. That's not Cody. Shot by Slimmer is no good. Couldn't hang on to the rebound. Yeah, that's not McLaughlin. That is, I know who that is. That's Mike Mueller, Mike Miller. Nice move inside by uh, Connor Kraft. That's he scores. who that is. Mike Miller, Yep, 21. Yep, here comes Cody. Outside shot by Miller is no good. South having trouble hitting from the outside. Good defense by Slimmer to stop Kraft, and then Marcos Perez almost lost it, but uh, Preble has it back.
Preble's coached by Jim Wall. His dad was a long time coach at Preble. Good rebound by Zietz. Sam Selk into the lane and scores. Six to five South. 140 left in the first quarter. Kick out pass, Parker Kraft shot is no good. Marcos Perez took the ball away from Slimmer. Just wanted it more, Marty. Yeah, you're right there. Reamer's shot is no good. Perez with the putback. No, nice feed inside by Miller and uh, Rec Lightis scores. Parker Kraft wanted to take it down the lane, but uh, was cut off by Slimmer. And then uh, Connor Kraft lost, pardon me, number 21, Parker Kraft lost it out of bounds. South has the ball and the lead, eight to seven. Preble shooting just 30%. Under a minute left in the first quarter. South at 33%. Eric Tetschlag in the game along with uh, Cody McLaughlin. I thought Tetschlag had an excellent game last week against North. And we don't have number 51 in our program either for uh, Preble. Rolling down to the 32nd mark. Let's see if uh, Sal sits on it for the last shot. Good ball movement by the Red Wings, Chris. You got 15 seconds left. Two, Parker's shot is uh, blocked and it goes off of his leg. Preble will have it back. <laughs> Barring something miraculous, this quarter is gonna end with South on top, eight to seven, and there you go. At the end, one quarter of play, south on top, eight to seven. We'll be right back. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com. Well, got some parental help. Number 51 for uh, Preble uh, came up after the JV game. His name is Connor Curtis. He's a sophomore. Uh, in WIAA play, you can play four quarters a night. So if you had a freshman... He could play one quarter in the freshman game, another quarter in the JV game, and then two quarters in the varsity game. It's a total of four quarters in a night. Although it'd be kind of tough since the uh, freshmen and the uh, JVs play at the same time. Well, you said slow pace, that's what we're at. <laughs> I think it's a little slower than slow pace. Amundsen pitch, Harrison, Zietz, and Reclitis back in. That's the starting lineup for the Red Wings. 
Good skip pass, pitches wide open, and couldn't get it to go. He had a good look. Very good look. Just having trouble hitting from the outside. Pitch almost with the steal, but a good recovery by the Hornets. Delwich trying to get it and couldn't. Good help defense by Connor Harrison forced the turnover. South will get it back. Turnover number five already for Preble. We mentioned Preble played some good teams. They played Stevens Point, excuse me, Sun Prairie, Kenosha Tremper, and Milwaukee Hamilton. Milwaukee Hamilton's back from a four game trip to Hawaii. Were they in the Maui Classic? <laughs> How about that for your high school, being able to go to Hawaii for really? four games? I believe they went two and two. Wide open shot by Zietz from 15 is good. Nice shot by Tyler, 10 to seven. Connor Kraft gets it inside the Delwich. Good ball movement. Shot is off, no good by uh, Connor Lemons. Kick up, nice move by Amundsen, and then he dishes it off to Harrison for an easy two. It's a six point run by the Red Wings. They were down seven to six, now they're up 12 to seven. Well, one thing I think they're doing a good job is limiting the offensive rebounds for Preble. Now Perez had those two quick ones. Aside from that, it's basically one and out for Preble. Delwich with a real nice oh. move inside. Reclitis commits the foul and the basket's good. That's a tough call on Jared there. Stayed down, stayed down, stayed down, and then Delwich kind of leans in and gets the foul. Got to give him credit, it was a nice move. Free throw is no oh, good, and Preble man. gets the rebound. Just what oh, I was yeah, saying. Yeah. <laughs> good <Yeah>. boards. <laughs> Up, Delwich was wide open, and then we get a blocking oh, foul. My. That's two quick ones on Jared Reclitis. Called three fouls in the whole first quarter, and now you got two quick ones on Jared. I'm saying on both teams. Right. That was pretty skimpy there. Well, Chris, how do you handle this now? Are you going to play him some more in this nope. first half? Or are you going to sit him out the rest of the I half? think he's going to be sitting for at least a while. And South's deep, so that should help. Good I'm help defense underneath by Zietz. I will say this. The pep in the step for Prebles increased after uh, Recolice got those fouls and they got that uh, attempted three-point play. Connor Kraft for three ties up the score. He has five points. All that because you allowed that offensive rebound when there's four of you and two of them on that free throw. Zietz works his way inside, but his wild shot is off no good. We're all tied up at 12. Connor Lemons looking to get into scoring position, couldn't. Oh, he gets a shot off, no good. Rebound by uh, Curtis, Connor Curtis, the sophomore. He puts it up and in. That sophomore has three rebounds and two on the offensive end in this quarter. Zietz from outside the line, bango. Look good from here, Marty. It certainly did. South back on top. Parker Kraft trying to penetrate, but uh, good defense played by pitch. Connor Lemons, jumper from the free throw line is good. Also, we have some action. Yep. A little bit of scoring. They've already each doubled what the team scored in the eight minutes that they've done it here in four. Zietz's shot is blocked and then Lemons tips it over to Parker Kraft. Good play. Lemons off the glass, no good. Harrison with the rebound. Pitch fouled. He's gonna go to the line to shoot two.
Parker Kraft picks up the foul. That's only the third team foul on Preble South, also with only three. Nice touch. This will only be the third free throw of the game coming up. Perez, Josh Kraft, and Nate Reamer back in for the Hornets. Those two free throws gives uh, South the lead 17 to 16. They haven't put it on the scoreboard yet, but that's what it is. Sam Selk guarding Connor Kraft, who leans in, couldn't get it in. Ball committed. Kraft will be shooting a pair. Can hear a pin drop in here, Marty. Really, I was looking during, I shouldn't say this, but uh, during the national anthem, I was just kind of looking around the gym because I couldn't see the flag from where I was standing. Uh, and uh, <laughs> it's not that full anyway. It's but been a right. cold winter, Marty. A lot of people staying home. Yeah, you going to the Packer game? <laughs> yep. My couch looks good. We're all tied at 17. There's uh, three minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half. It's been uh, pretty much a slow mover in terms of the scoring. South playing tough defense. Zietz. Rims out. Another miss. Ball tapped out of bounds. We're going to get a foul, I think. Well, Tyler oh. Zietz, you know, wasn't starting. Now he's starting and wasn't Poppin really threes. in the action. And now he's first half, he's got six shot attempts, which is good to see for Tyler. Josh Kraft looking to penetrate, but again, the South defense does a number on him. And now he gets a wide open three. Couldn't get it in. McLaughlin with great block out. Perez couldn't get the board because of it. Yep, give that one to McLaughlin, even though uh, Selk gets it in the, board, in the book. Catch log back in the game, number 33. South very, very young. They only have Zietz, Schultz, Schmitz, McLaughlin. Zietz wide open. Again, couldn't get it, but tapped out by Miller. McLaughlin had it. Now South has it back, looking to score. 2.20 left in the first half. Good possession for South, Chris, but they need to put some points on the board. I see Tristan Schmitz is in dress coat uh, clothes tonight, Marty. Yeah, I wonder if he's hurt. Three-point attempt is no good. McLaughlin keeps it alive and tips it to Miller, but his shot attempt is blocked, and Preble has it. Under two minutes left, and Jim Wall calls a 30-second timeout. It's going to be a grinder today, Marty. Every possession is, you know, a lot of defense, and it's a lot of hard work, and... When you have limited possessions, every everyone is more important. And you'll see think, that as uh, the game wears out. You bring up a really good point, and when you get into those long possessions, especially on defense, you really got to concentrate. You know, you really got to pay attention. I think it's easier on offense, you know, because you got something to look for, the ball and that, where on defense, you know, you really got to pay attention. Preble obviously did a great job that last time. We got Selk, Zietz, Miller, Tetchlog, and McLaughlin in the game for the Red Wings. Good defense again by South. Kraft with a nice feed inside and an easy basket by Nate Reamer. Oh, that was sweet. Yep. Little trap here. Saw this in the Time JV out. game. Timeout. 
Instead, oh, we're Zietz got knocked down and no call. Parker Kraft just put him down and no call. Possession arrow points Preble's way. Miller didn't know what to do there. I don't know if you have replay capabilities, Scott, but uh, that would be a good one to see. Eric Wiesman and Richard Martin. Boom. Oh. Takedown. <laughs> Eric Wiesman and Richard Bartson are our cameramen tonight. Scott Mailoff is our director. Nice steal by McLaughlin. 1917, rolling down to one minute left in the half. South down by two. Oh, Selk looked like he was open for a second. Little matchup zone by Preble. Nice feed inside. McLaughlin kicks it out. Harrison from 15, no good. Another miss by the Southsiders. They've gotten some good looks. Here comes, oh, Selk almost with the steal. Connor Kraft looked like he had an opening, but uh, Selk closed it off and then almost stole it, but couldn't come up with it. Perez coming in for uh, Reamer, adds a little more size to uh, the Hornet lineup. Kraft leaning in on the lane, kisses it off the glass for two. He's tough, Chris. He's a good player. South shooting just 27% in the quarter, thus the four point deficit now. Yeah, that's uh, their their lack of being able to score from outside of 10 feet has really been uh, a sorry subject. Under 10 seconds left. Saw this before, and they didn't get much of a shot. Two, they're not going to get a much of a shot here either. Pass is stolen. We're at halftime. Preble's on top, 21 to 17. Hoy en día, muchos hombres tienen una enfermedad, pero la mayoría no sabe cómo se llama. Es una enfermedad tratable que atormenta tanto a los hombres como a sus familias, pero muchos hombres nunca obtienen tratamiento. ¿Cómo se llama? Depresión. Si usted o un familiar tiene síntomas de la depresión, no se avergüence de hablar de ello. Llame al número que aparece abajo y vaya al médico. La vida que salve puede ser la suya. have a job to do out here today to be a winning team you have to work like a winning team my team depends on me and my team is 50,000 strong looks like a lot of work is going into this this is what it feels like to be part of a team a winning team the action team get in on the action at actionteam.org are you in you always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. Steve. You 
Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best, a team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe because our nation expects more. If you expect more, maybe you. Hi, everyone. I'm Emily. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home, and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so proud of him. He's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Chris, let's talk about uh, that first half. Uh, South trails by four, 21 to 17. Uh, what did you see that uh, caused that disparity? I mean, uh, they seem to be doing well in the first quarter, even though neither team scored much. Yeah, I think they just got cold, uh, Marty. The, we were talking about the 415 mark that it was, you know, they had doubled their score right away, and since that time, you know, they haven't scored since, so. You know, eh, bad shooting. Yeah, I was just going to say, it seemed like South worked the ball around and got some good looks from, uh, especially outside the three-point line, but uh, only made one. Yeah, they're only down by four. I'm not too concerned yet. I mean, 21-17, it's, it's a grind, as we mentioned before. Got some scores, Marty? Yeah, for uh, Preble, we'll go with them first. Reamer had five, Lemons had two. Connor Kraft led all scorers with eight, Delwich two, Perez two, and uh, Kernis, that uh, sophomore who was brought up, had two. For uh, South, Pitch only had three shots. He made a couple of free throws. He has two points at halftime. Tyler Zeet seven, he leads South. Connor Harrison four, Sam Selk two, and Jared Reclitis with two. And uh, He's a presence inside. They hurt him. It, it hurt South when he was not in the ball game, the second part of that uh, second quarter. Delowich just uh, two points, too, is kind of shocking. He had a nice day against uh, Sheboygan North. We didn't get the name of the officials prior to uh, tonight's basketball game, so I can't give you the name of those two uh, fellas. Uh, I think they are doing a good job, though. I thought the takedown of uh, Zietz was splendid. <laughs> <laughs> Amundsen forces it up and in. Gotta like that. Little bonus, little pressure here by South. To try to wear them down. Amundsen guarding uh, Connor Kraft. Trying to put the clamps on him. Parker Kraft gets it inside the Delwich, who feeds it over to Reamer. His shot was missed. Tries to go to the other side, miss that shot, and now they kick it out. Connor Kraft for three. They got to get the rebounds, Chris. Yeah, disappointing. Well, you had mentioned, I think it was early in the second quarter, that uh, South had been limiting the offensive rebounds, and since he said that, Preble's been doing some good rebounding. They have, they definitely have. South too doesn't get a lot of second opportunities. As a matter of fact, I have them for just two or well, three offensive rebounds in the ball game at 639 of the third. 
Connor Kraft looking to uh, feed the Delwich, but uh, again, the South defense prevented that. Reamer kicking it back out. Kraft, for a seven footer, is no good. Rebound Delwich, kicks it out. Kraft wide open, couldn't get it. Reclitis with that rebound. Just his third. Good rotation over by Preble to uh, prevent Pitch from getting an open shot. South working the perimeter, trying to get inside. There they do to Reclitis. His shot is blocked. Good fake, lean in, and the Plus basket's one. good. They could have had a three-point play. Come on. That's what I see. Steal by Amundsen. Kick out the pitch, and he's fouled. Parker Kraft on the foul. That'll be his second. Pitch was two for two in the first half from the line. Those were his only two points. Let's see what he does here. Nothing but the bottom of the net. How'd that sound? Very good, thank you. Have another. That looks good, too. Uh -huh. oh, rims out. Nice going, Chris. South down two. 5.20 left in the third. Good defense by Amundsen to cut off the baseline. Kraft wanted it. Amundsen wouldn't let him have it. Good help by Zietz. Stay focused, boys. Delwich got around Reclitis. His jumper in the lane is good. Got a little too deep, Marty. Yep, you're right there. Half-court trapping defense by uh, Preble, and now they drop back. Pitch That's had his force. shot blocked. Can't do that. That's a force. Harrison inside nice. to Reclitis. His five-footer is in. That should be Harrison's bucket. That was sweet, Connor. South closes to within two, 26-24. They get no shot. We're going to get a foul on Harrison. For uh, Connor, that's going to be his first. Marcos Perez in the game for the Hornets. Reamer checking out. A little surprised Perez doesn't wear like a single digit. Said 55. <laughs> He's a big guy. He is a big guy. I always said if you got low numbers, oh, nice in trouble. move inside. He got the position but couldn't get the bunny to drop. South comes away. Zietz to the hole and he scores and fouled. Just like that, we're back to even and a chance for the lead. Kraft picks up his first foul of the night. We're all tied at 26. Tyler's four of eight tonight from the floor. Zietz rolls it in. Perez sits down, Parker Kraft back in. Connor Curtis in also. Long lead feed, but uh, all it does is break the press. McLaughlin bodying up, good defense down low. 
And then we get a whistle off the ball. I think they're gonna get Connor Harrison and he's wondering why. So are we. His second personal there, you get a good shot at Connor. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot and Richard Bartson giving you that shot. Delwich, turn jumper in the lane is no good. Offensive rebound, rips it away from Amundsen and then puts it up and in. South has got to play tougher, Chris. Well, that's one of those fast rebounds. He was so close to the basket, it came right back to him. By the time that uh, Harrison flipped around, the ball was already back in Delowich's hand. He got a shot up, and it's too late by then. And all of a sudden, uh, Connor has uh, three fouls. Delowich uh, missed Del everything. Del That's a oops. Can we try that again? Preble on top, 28-27. Rolling down to the three minute mark. Pitch, taking it to the hoop, scores and he's fouled. High riser on that shot, Chris. Can't make it from outside, try inside. His get first little, two pay point basket. Get a little in. closer. <laughs> Delwich on the foul, his second. Got that one in. Don't go away, folks. This one's gonna go right down to the wire. South by two, 30 to 28. Connor Kraft being double teamed. Good help by pitch. Selk playing the tough defense inside. Amundsen. Stay on your feet, stay on your feet. There's three seconds, yes sirree. Good defense by Carter Amundsen. Well, he mentioned before, he's not gonna get a lot of baskets. He's lucky to even get his name in the press. But uh, the little things that Carter Amundsen do make you win, win ball games. Slimmer in the ball game for the Red Wings. Oh, McLaughlin was open for just a second. Probably a good thing not to throw it in there. Slimmer's shot was blocked by uh, Lemon, uh, yeah, Connor Lemons. Drive to the basket by uh, Connor Kraft is no good, but he is fouled. That foul is gonna go on Selk. It's a fourth foul on uh, the Red Wings. Kraft's free throw is good. He now has 12 points in the ball game. Leads all scorers. Who we'll gets uh, Kraft now that Carter's out of the game? Zietz is leading the uh, South scorers, Chris, with 10. Had seven in the first half and then uh, had that three point basket just a few minutes ago. Oh, over the back, shot is no good. Delwich had a wide open look and he couldn't get it in. Oh my. Two chances, golden opportunities for the Hornets. Pitch going hard to the basket, couldn't get it in. Delwich was there to knock the shot away. Kraft is gonna get bailed out. Zietz is gonna be called for the blocking foul. Toughest call in basketball, pre on basketball, Chris. Of course, we would like to see uh, the charge called, but uh, looks like the call was a good one. Good replay, Scott. Coach Rank asked, why don't we get that on this end? Oh, uh, that's a bad foul. Yeah, it is a bad foul. I hate that foul. Did well, it's that not. Before? It's not the foul per se, it's the shot's gone, you know, now what are you gonna do? You know, and then he pushes them down. Aye, From aye, aye. Way over there. Yep. It's three and free free what's, what's the saying you always use? Don't Never foul. Never foul a jump shooter. Aye. 
That free throw will tie up the ball game at 30 apiece. He's lucky that that ball didn't go in. <laughs> really? Six team fouls already on South. I don't think we had six team fouls added together in the first half on both teams. Three just on Preble. Wow. Connor Kraft hits all three. He's got uh, 15 points. A quiet 15 because Carter Robinson's doing a heck of a job on him. Preble on top. I like the idea of pitch before Chris taking it to the basket. Uh, Delwich played uh, pretty good defense, but uh, take it to him. Maybe draw yep. the foul again. Seems to be the tendency the officials are calling now. They let them bump and bump, but anything close to the basket seems like they might pick up a foul. Parker Kraft playing good defense. Nice feed inside by Slimmer, but Sell couldn't get the shot to go. He is fouled and will shoot a couple free throws. Yep, just what we asked for. Sell comes in the game shooting 66% from the free throw line. Selk rolls that one in. Amundsen getting ready to check in for the Red Wings. Sam ties up the ball game at 32 with those two free throws. Parker Kraft being guarded by uh, TJ Pitch. Oh, nice work. Dunk by Delwich is good. Well, they tried to trap up top, which left the uh, lane area open, and uh, there was two black shirts and just one white shirt down there, and advantage, Preble. And they took advantage of it also. Nice move by McLaughlin, but again, the short shot wouldn't go down. 35 seconds left in the quarter. Preble up by two. Zietz guarding Parker Kraft. Amundsen on Connor Kraft. Inside the Delwich. Kraft got a step on Amundsen, and oh. then he's fouled kidding me late call you got the shot off missed it and then all of a sudden the whistle blew yep and that's where they're calling them underneath on those drives i apologize to everyone for uh, waking up joel delowich he's got five rebounds and three baskets here in the quarter i think i should have just been quiet about him and left him out of it I'll tell you what I'm really got a bone to pick with you about, Chris, is when you told me about how great Salt is doing preventing Preble from getting all the rebounds. <laughs> Since then, they've been rebounding demons. <laughs> yes, they have. That's all right, Chris. We still love you. They got six offensive rebounds in the quarter, oh, Marty. There's man. a seven. That's just bad block out, that's all that is. Too deep. And Kraft driving baseline scores. 36-32 shot at the buzzer is no good by pitch. And we're at the end of three with Preble up, 36-32. Best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? You look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I had a mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAusa.org.
want to help? Make it easy on everyone. Send cash, the most effective form of disaster relief. CIDI.org. Back at South High School there, you can see they trail by four. Each team scored 15 points in that third quarter. South did hold the lead several times and uh, had a pretty good quarter going until uh, Zietz committed a silly foul on Parker Kraft. He nailed all three of those on the three-point attempt. And then uh, again on a missed free throw, Preble got the offensive rebound and scored. And... Uh, we're back where we started at halftime, down by four. Exactly. South has their starting lineup back in. Start the fourth quarter. Preble's shooting 42%. Good defense by Rec Lightis to get uh, Delwich trapped on the baseline. And then again, uh, good defense on the other side of the floor by Zietz, and uh, Preble loses it. Turnover number eight. South on the hand, hand 36%, but just one of 12 from three-point range. They're going to make one when it really counts. And we'll show those Preble Hornets. Looking inside, but uh, skip pass. Preble playing good defense. Shot is blocked by oh. uh, Connor Lemons. And what was the call, Chris? Travel? Yes. Oh, man. First turnover of the half for South. I, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I don't didn't like that call. Reclitis a little bit late on the intercept. Oh, and they're leaving Reamer wide open underneath the basket, but Preble didn't see him. Lemon's shot from the free throw line is good. He's just two of five. Uh, now it is average. Preble up six. Biggest lead of the game for either team. Zietz. That could have been a travel, though. Harrison Gotta hit from one. outside the line couldn't get it. Zietz had his shot blocked inside by Delwich. South will keep it. 6-12 left in the ball game. Preble up by six. Pitch jumper. No good. Rebound. Tried to get it up, and then they're going to get Parker Kraft with a hold. That's going to be his third. Pitch wasn't square on that shot. You could tell by the release it wasn't going to go in. But uh, four black shirts stood and watched. T.J. Hustlin got that offensive rebound. T.J. got a shooter's roll on that free throw. Hit four of five free throws so far tonight. Looking to go five for six. Just one of eight from the floor, though, Marty. Yeah, he struggled. Uh, just like most of his teammates have, too. Puts that one down. They're shooting good free throws, Marty. They he's are. At, he's at over 90% on the season. Wow. Uh-oh. Perez got loose inside, put it in. What it seems like, Chris, is South gets a little bit of penetration and kicks it out, but Preble does a great job of recovering to the shooter. I think you're right there. They do play good defense as well, and 
know, six point lead is like a 12 point lead in this game because yeah, exactly. every. Yeah, exactly. Lemons couldn't get it to goal. And then uh, Perez gets called for an over the back foul. Well, should be a free throws here. Should be free throws here. I Should be free throws here. I think it's considered an offensive foul. No, it is, and it's over the back. But they had the ball. Wow. That's not the right call. Oh, there's only six fouls on them. That's why we're not shooting. I apologize. Hey, you don't have to apologize for not being able to count to seven. <laughs> I saw six. That's why I thought it was the seven. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're pretty folks. quick on that scoreboard. Yeah, you know. they are. South down six. Reclitis from 10 off the glass. Couldn't get it to go. Rebound number eight for Delowich. Yeah. Kraft going baseline. Slimmer knocked the pass out of bounds. Preble will keep it. There's 338 left in the ball game. Preble up by six. Reclitis coming out. He'll get a bit of a rest and then be right back in there and uh, probably go for the rest of the game. My thoughts exactly. Nice rebound by Harrison. Somebody's got to put the ball in the hoop. It's been Zietz basically tonight. McLaughlin for three. How Another that? country heard from. <laughs> Not too many made, but that just cuts the lead in half. He's been practicing those, I can guarantee it. Preble doing a nice job of uh, breaking the pressure by South. Reamer in the lane, doesn't take the shot. Now he gets it inside to Perez for two. TJ Pitch with a cramp or something. Marcos Perez getting loose again. He has six points in the game. Pitch One. down. One of 13 shooting. Oh, he just took one in the stomach. I don't, well. One of 13 from three for South, and then uh, McLaughlin hits one. Yeah. Well, you got to have that sometimes. Yeah, have you watched? TJ looks like he just kind of got knee to knee or knee to belly, I thought. Maggie Bauer out there doing the real work. The other two guys are just kind of standing there, sitting or kneeling there. Come on, let's go. A basketball game to play. You're all right. Isn't that what your coach would tell you? Get up. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Here we're going to see it again. Right out there on top. Ah, looked like they maybe knocked knees. He doesn't look very good. TJ must have got hit pretty hard. I think it was the knock knee, Chris. Well, did you watch the Badger game last night? You see that one where Gosser went down and the guy. Oh, right to the. <laughs> right to the private parts. That was below Oops. the belt. <laughs> I don't think it was intentional, though. I don't know about you. No. It, they showed it a couple times, obviously, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> they needed to show it at least one more time. <laughs> All right, we're off and running. 3.45 left in the ball game. South down five. McLaughlin, who hit that three-pointer, is still in the ball game. Miller back in. Oh, Slimmer. Oh, that's going to go off Delwich with a nice save, but South will keep it. Harrison, Johnny on the spot to get the recovery. And South calls a timeout. Hmm. 
Chris, all of a sudden, and I know that uh, McLaughlin made the three, but all of a sudden, for whatever reason, I just feel like they're having trouble even, you know, getting open for a shot. I was just thinking now who's going to score here. Uh, we got Zietz back in there. That's a good thing. But uh, you better have basically your starters in and your sixth person uh, because of TJ out. You know, I know he's not going to score a lot, but... Uh, the defense that Carter plays on Kraft would be huge. Yep. He's got to be in there to stop him, but he's not. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Zietz and Harrison, Miller, Mc McLaughlin, and Selk with 3.18 left. What? Hey, good job of getting those starters or those players on. <laughs> you always let me do the hard work. Well, the Preble jerseys are hard enough to read. Oh, oh right boy. to uh, Reamer. And Kraft uh, keeps it alive, gets it to uh, Connor Kraft, and now he has it back under three minutes. That's a tough turnover. And uh, watch out under the basket for Preble Lemons. very content to uh, work the perimeter now. Good defense by Self, showing good quickness. Harrison rims off again. Tip Pitch. by Zietz to Self for two. That was Zietz. One possession a game again here. Treble by three. Rolling down to the two minute mark. Both teams in the bonus, if you're interested on that. Kraft got loose almost, kicks it back out. Preble very content to run clock. Well, they turned it over before. Miller wants to come up and uh, intercept that pass to Kraft, but he can't leave Reamer alone underneath. See that right there, got to be careful about him. 140. There's a foul. One, yeah, 140, you just meant 139 right now, but uh, you get the idea, it's rolling down. Third foul on Selk. I think you'd want Recolitis in the game here. And you fouled Kraft. Yeah, that's the 10th free throw attempt. He's only made six out of 10. Pitches uh, once back in the game. Kraft has 10 points here in the second half, had eight in the first, has 18 for the game. And he's back in the game. It's good to see uh, TJ back. He looked pretty hurt coming off, but uh, good to get him back in the game. Timeout, Preble, it's gonna be a full, Marty. Okay, a good one. Two free throws though, and we're at 44-39 uh, with uh, 139 left in the ball game. I tell people I have three kids, one of them's adopted, I just don't know which one. I can't imagine having to be in a birth mother's position to make that choice. You know, I was kind of just asking her, you know, what is your motivation? Why are you doing this? And she looked at me and she said, because you can give my son a life that, that I could not. We always tell her, thank you. He is such a blessing to us. Every day is just a ray of sunshine from him. So We're Chanda and Brian, and we chose adoption. Back at South High School, uh, Preble called the timeout. Uh, there you see Mike Rank talking to the troops, trying to uh, get some winning strategy going. It's going to be tough. Uh, Preble handles the ball pretty well. South shooting just 34%. And we've mentioned it before, they've struggled from three-point range tonight. They are just 2 of 15. I think I gave some wrong information before. Uh, TJ Pitch from the free throw line tonight is six for seven and uh, has a basket, so he's got eight points. 
this is, well, let's see what we got here. Yep. Kick over to Miller, the left-hander shot is missed, and then a great save by Connor Lemons. Lead feed is to Reamer is no good, and he has to kick it out, but uh, Preble still has it. 1.15 left in the ball game, and they have a five-point lead. Lost it, Zietz. Good heads-up play by uh, Zietz to uh, call the timeout. I'm a little surprised uh, Mike Miller's in the game, Marty. I really am. Well, Coach got, must know something we don't. Uh, you know, they got him in there, obviously, to shoot it. Well, I got uh, a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and he's not any of the top scorers in the top seven, so. I'll tell you this. If I was coaching that team, I would always have a left-hander <laughs> on the floor. He's 0 for 4 tonight. Probably wants your starters in the game, I would think, but uh, not the case right now. Recolitis back in the game with a minute 08 left. Still just two possession game, so they're right there. Clock rolling down, 105. South needs the score here. Doesn't matter, two or a three. Recolitis looking, looking, nice, nice move. Rolls it in. Well, this is where scouting goes. You should know who to foul. 48 seconds left. Connor Lemons with the ball. Zietz wanted to steal it, but uh, he's gonna get called for the foul. For Zietz, I've got him as having three. Still in the bonus here. Connor Lemons at the line to shoot. Three point game, 41 seconds left. Block out now, in case he misses that free throw. You know Preble doesn't want a foul, so I'd feed Recolitis again because you don't want that three-point play. Exactly. 41 seconds left. Got to block out again, boys. A lot of time left. A lot of time left. Pitch. Jumper. No good. Gets the rebound. Shot is blocked. Recolitis inside. Gets it in. 46-43, one possession game. Quick foul, that one's gonna go on pitch. For TJ, that's his first foul. Connor Lemons back at the line. Now we're double bonus, so Marty. Yeah, that's uh, gonna be tough. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Boy, they're hitting their free throws. That's my jinx, Marty. I hope it works. The not rebounding certainly did. Gee whiz. Oh, he's smooth at the line, eh? Five point game, 25 seconds left, a timeout uh, by pitch. Okay. I don't care for that one either, Chris. But hopefully it'll pay off. Our next ball game is gonna be uh, next Tuesday, January 7th, when uh, Christian plays Lutheran in uh, the first of two Holy Wars by the Shore. We look forward to bringing you that game. One thing we forgot to mention in the opening, Chris, uh, WSCS TV is uh, three and one on the uh, young basketball season. Not looking good tonight, though. But uh, anyway, looking forward to bringing you the uh, Christian Lutheran game on Tuesday, January 7th. Chris is particularly perturbed at the uh, results if uh, South loses tonight. He is looking for uh, a two-gamer of doing interviews. No, that would be a four-game win. Four, four game. That's yeah. right. The girls and the boys. And... Uh, 
the Manitowoc South game. You were on fire, man. Starting to make up for the football season. <laughs> All right, pitch is going to toss it in. Preble is sitting back. Got to go. Going into man-to-man -man defense. Still a lot of time. You don't need a three, boys. You don't need a three. Harrison Good idea. taking it down the lane. Couldn't get it in. Needed to use the left hand. Reclitis commits a foul on uh, Parker Kraft. They're setting up for three when we just need a quick two with 25 seconds left. Parker Kraft will be shooting a pair. Parker has not scored tonight, but uh, he has played a good floor game. Wow. Another free throw. Wow. They made a lot. They certainly have. Last uh, seven points have been from the line. They got like 20% of their points from the free throw line tonight. 50 to 43. Shot up. Now Good. you make one. Zietz nailed one with 3.1 seconds left and South calls a quick timeout. It's 50 to 46. Still a two possession game basically. Oy. Well, It's uh, been tough going here tonight, Chris. Harrison had four points in the first half. Chris, he hasn't scored anything here in the second. Reclitis had uh, two in the first half, eight here in the second. Did have to sit out quite a bit in that second quarter. Amundsen is back in now. Selk also back in, adding a little quickness. Yep, speed. It's going to be tough for the Southsiders to win this one now. But they are hoping. Preble's shooting 44%, just 35% for South. Delwich only has eight points, Chris, but... Uh, Got a chance. Harrison with the rebound. Shot from half court is no good, and that's the ball game. Green Bay Preble, a winner, 50-46. to 46. They run their record to uh, seven and three, four and one in conference. South, even on the season now at five and five and uh, three and two in conference. Uh, I mentioned our next game is gonna be on Tuesday when Christian travels over to uh, Lutheran. Uh, Chris, a couple of comments before we sign off. Well, Connor Kraft kind of quietly got his 19, but Joel Delowich in that third quarter kind of took over, and then clutch free throw shooting for the Hornets. For Sheboygan South, they just couldn't find that outside game tonight. Good defense, I thought, South played. I mean, they only allowed 50 points. You think you get give up 50 points, you might win a ball game. Speaking of those uh, free throws, Preble finished the game with uh, eight free throws in a row. That's their last eight points. Uh, they had three baskets prior to that. Uh, we mentioned... Uh, the records and the score for the crew, Richard uh, Bartson and uh, Eric Wiesman on camera, Scott Mailoff, our director, excellent on the replays, Scott. And for my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.